Welcome to Jubelish the News. I'm Mendy Pellin. <music> President Obama sparked a major fashion trend on his recent visit to China by dressing according to the local minnow, as he usually does. The president said it was a sign of respect for Chinese culture. Jubelish has gotten an exclusive first look at the president's attire for his upcoming trip to Brooklyn. And a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This year will be the first time in almost 365 days that it doesn't fall out on Hanukkah. Mindy, I heard this year it falls out on the Marsha short site. It sure does. The Marsha, by the way, is famous for giving insightful commentary on the commentary to the Talmud. Needless to say, rabbis are beyond jubilant with mass celebrations held around the world. Some are even calling the day Marsha giving. I don't know about that in hopes that the crossing of the dates, which won't happen for another like 17,000 years, will take the Talmudic commentary mainstream with millions of families gathered together for some turkey and Talmud. Beautiful. And in local news... Do you want to have them lined up? Or like two and eight come here, then... Last week, Hatzala of Queens brought all their ambulances together to a remote location for their annual photo shoot. Not the best time for anyone in Queens to have a heart attack. <laughs> Unless they're holishing at the photo shoot, in which case... Yeah. Uh, now we have a big day for uh, Jubelish weather. Thank you, Mindy. You're the man. There's currently a storm of outrage moving in from most of Europe. The storm is sweeping all the way to Israel, where things have really been heating up. The flood of attack has led to rising pressure to pass a national state bill. This has led to further cooling off of diplomatic relations between Obama and Netanyahu. So, if you're going outside, I suggest you wear something bulletproof. Uh, thanks, Dave. Hey, Last week's Jubelish section in the Wall Street Journal talks about our upcoming music video. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss it. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. It's a good one. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. And remember, the schnauzel stops here while we Jubelish the news. Jubelish?